Hey guys, this is going to be my review of the Dying Lingam version 2 from Speed Cube Shop. I bought this cube as a DIY, and you can also buy it assembled for $13.99, both as a DIY and assembled. So the stickers of this cube are these small Dian stickers. Um, the big ones come on the uh, Gu Hong and Zanchi, and the small ones are on the Ling Youngs and Lin Hoi. It has white, yellow, orange, red, green, and blue. I did not receive a logo, um, but that is almost a good thing because if you didn't receive a logo, that means you have one of the first cubes in production, um, which is kind of cool, but it doesn't really make it different. So I lubricated this with Lubix down to the screws and the springs, and um, it turned out pretty good. It made a really fast cube, um, and yeah. The, the turning of this cube is a little bit bumpy, but at high TPS you don't really feel the bumpiness, it's pretty smooth, um, but it's almost a little bit crispy, I guess. And it has a little, sometimes it locks up a little bit, a little bit, because you're not really paying attention to corner cutting. Or, or accurate turning because it's just turning so fast. Like if you just try to do a U2, you overshoot a little bit every single time. But it's reverse corner cutting and corner cutting will make up for it because this cube does corner cut more than 45 degrees. This 45 right there cuts it. That's about 50. Oops, my finger touched it. 50. No. It's a little bit too far, actually. That's about 50. And it cuts it. Which is pretty good. Um, and then for reverse corner cutting, it's almost a full piece. And I really like how this cube has such good corner cutting. So, um, I have my Ling Yang version 1, which I'm going to compare it to for the pieces. So black one is version 1, white one is version 2. So for the version 1, I got Lubix Torpedoes, and I have lubricated it with Lubix also. And I haven't done anything else to it, actually. Um, no, 48 point, 45 point inch, whatever. Um, so let's look at the corner pieces. So on the version 1, as you can see there, it's fairly flat. And there's no real bumps or anything to catch on to. And there's a little thing there, and yeah, and this dip, and it's split into three parts as normal diamond cubes are. Now on the ver version two, this part is slightly curved, and that's pretty much the same. And then people are saying that the dip is bigger, and it's really not. And no, it's not. It's not at all. Um. Yeah, but otherwise, it's exactly the same except for this butt part. So for the edges, um, so since I got torpedoes on this, um, just ignore that. Um, so really the only major difference on this cube is the torpedoes. And that's what causes um, this cube to not pop. Um, the version 1 had a serious problem with popping. And a lot of people complained about it and really didn't like it. Um, well, I just didn't use the cube. That's what my result was. Um, yeah, so here we have some friction reducers. And, yeah, look at that. And that. And it's in two parts. And on the version 2, we obviously have torpedoes, the friction reducer. And it's in two parts. And that's pretty much the same thing. The edges are pretty much exactly the same, except for the torpedoes. So now, let's look at center pieces, because everybody loves to look at them. So, the black one, you can see there that you have um, this, the center piece right there, and that's what it looks like inside. Now for the version 2. It's pretty much flat. It just cuts off right there. But this one's more curvy. Um, 
yeah, I don't really know what it does. The centerpiece here is shorter than that one. Um, yeah. So you can see the torpedoes in here, and yeah, stuff. Um, this core is a lot, like, wider than this one. This one is, um, a lot darker. It's like a creamy-ish look. So, um, yeah, the screws and the springs are pretty much the same. They're the silver kind. Um, yeah. So, I'm just going to put these cubes back together. Oh, um, yeah, so I lubricated all the way down to the screws and the springs and stuff. Um, and that worked pretty good. Or pretty well. So, a lot of people that want to know, is this cube better than this cube? And I'm going to say definitely yes, but it depends on really who you are, like, as in, like, speed. Um, if you're, like, averaging like, 25 seconds and you're trying to find a new main cube and you, you're you thinking about the Linear version 2, definitely not your cube. You, um, will be overshooting, like that and you'll try you'll do like a U1 and you'll you'll do, you'll do like almost a U3. Um and it's just really hard to control. Um but the um more experienced cubers like um Felix or someone Dan Cohen would may like this cube because it is a little bit faster and it's pretty much right at their speed. Um but the version one it's a teeny bit slower I would say but it may just be mine. I may have it on a tight tension. Um, but it definitely does have a better feel. Like, it's a lot better. Um, and it has just an overall better feel. But this, it's just... Eh. It's lacking, like, a key element. I don't really know how to put my finger on it, but... Um, Ling Yun version 1 had that smoothness, and then when they incorporated the new centerpieces, it just... I don't know, they changed something, and it, I don't know, it just feels different. So is this cube worth the money to buy a new one? Um, if you're like 12, 13, 11 seconds, then yeah, I go ahead and buy this because you'll, you'll like it. But if you're like 40 seconds and like 20 seconds, no, don't buy it. It's not going to be worth it. Um... Yeah, so I pretty much think that ends up the review, so, um, yeah, if buy it if you really want it, but if you don't want it, or if, you, if you're not in that time zone, don't go buy it, because it's bad for you. Okay, bye.